Police in Greece investigating the murder of an American scientist have taken DNA from a number of possible suspects, but so far they've made no arrests. Today, CBS News went inside the abandoned Nazi tunnels where the body of Suzanne Eaton was found. Here's Holly Williams. Amateur cavers discovered Suzanne Eaton's remains on Monday in this World War II era bunker, an underground labyrinth. This looks like it extends at least 50 yards down in that direction. And this way, you can't even see where it ends. CBS News has learned her body was found face down. She was still dressed in her running clothes. Local officials here in Crete have told us that they believe that Suzanne Eaton was killed elsewhere and then her body was placed or, or, or dumped inside this bunker complex. Police have questioned several people, but say they still have no suspects. The forensic pathologists who carried out the autopsy say they knew Eaton had been murdered as soon as they saw her body, but couldn't explain why for fear of jeopardising the investigation. Maybe it was strangulation, maybe it was mothering, maybe both of them. Was it a quick death? Of course not. Suzanne Eaton's family members are still in Crete and want to remember not how she was killed, you haven't came forward. but how she lived as an inspiring scientist, talented athlete and pianist and adored mother. The world has lost more than it will ever know, said her brother Rob in a statement. I will miss the kindest, wisest person I will probably ever know. Jim. Holly Williams reporting for us from Crete tonight. Thank you.